Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here again. Um, we're continuing with um, how to typeset your novel using OpenOffice Writer. I've decided I'm going to do uh, one whole separate video on drop caps because uh, there's a couple of uh, bugaboos about this that you should know about. So to so this is just about drop caps. I will uh, go back to uh, uh, the beginning. I have here my novel, and I'm in the process of typesetting it. And what I like to do is do what's called a drop cap. Now I have just, uh, I mean, effectively imported my, opened my document, and made some formatting changes so it looks like this rather than just a manuscript. And here we're at the beginning of a chapter, and um, I want to put a, a drop cap in. And by the way, don't worry about this. Uh, we talk about how to get rid of that in another section. Um, so, at the beginning of my chapter, I like to make what's called a drop cap, which is a great big capital letter to start uh, uh, the chapter off. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, get rid of this indentation. And, you know, by the way, when you're writing uh, anything really, especially if you intend to um, put it on Amazon or, or whatever, don't use tabs. You use uh, indentation. Uh, so you uh, think about that. That's a topic for a separate video. But um, so what I'm going to do is just backspace and aligns it all up and then I'm going to highlight the uh, Z I'm not even sure I have to highlight it, I just put the cursor here and I go to format paragraph display drop caps and it has the Z okay now let's cancel that because the Z then is in a format I don't want so I highlight the letter because it gives me then my the proper font. I want the same font, and you don't have to use the same font. Actually, I mean you can put a, you know a fancy thing here, a fancy letter, a different letter, a, a letter that is uh, maybe uh, consistent with the theme or the nature of your book. So if it's a spooky book, you know you can get spooky fonts, and you would just go up here and change the font just like you always would, because it will change the font only of this letter. Or in any case, uh, we'll go back to Format, Paragraph, and then in this Paragraph Format uh, box, it has um, different features relating to that. Now here, for example, is where you would do uh, the first line indent. The first line indent, uh, you would set it up here, uh, but I got rid of that. The next but that's what you use instead of tabs, as an, as an, an, uh, as an aside. And text flow, so that's where you, you're going to fool around with uh, hyphenation and stuff like that. But it also has drop caps, so unfortunately they have kind of buried it. Um, some word processors um, have it much, much more up front, but here you have to, uh, go, to the par go to your format paragraph and then drop caps tab, click on display drop caps, and here's my Z in the proper font. And then you can tell it, you can change the number of characters, so you can you know do the whole thing, but I only want the first character, or the number of lines. In other words, how high is the thing, so you can make it smaller or taller, whatever you want to do. Three I find to be a nice number. Um, so we'll see what it looks like. And space to text is referring to the space right here between the text and the letter. I like it at zero. Uh, that way it um, feeds right into the word. Uh, you may change that to your taste. And the character style, you can, you know, you can change that. I just don't do anything with it. And I say OK. And here is the big Z drop down. Um, 
Don't worry about the fact that it's highlighted because it will not be highlighted. So it should be if we go to print preview and look at it. Yeah, you see it just has a big Z. It's not highlighted at all. All right, now. Um, and they're all I did, by the way, to display these side-by-side -side pages. I just uh, zoom out with my scroll on my mouse, to, and it will automatically put two pages next to each other. You know, press control and then scroll with the button with the mouse. And as you zoom out, it, it, you know, it may display more pages. Sometimes it's a fast way to go through and look for uh, problems. Now, uh, there are a couple things that um, I want to zoom in a little bit more. Oh, but okay, that's it. Now, this has one anomaly, and I think I can find a chapter where it does that. I think it's the next chapter. Right. Okay. Now, I have uh, chapter 10. And I have two lines. And then there's an indentation and it begins another paragraph. So if I say, if I select my T and I tell it format uh, paragraph uh, drop caps, display drop caps, number of characters, three lines, and so forth. OK. Now you'll notice that it only does the space, it only does the, uh, it, it, the height of it is only equivalent to the number of lines before there is an indent. So uh, how do you get around that? Well, there's a couple ways you can do it if you think it's OK. So here it says the butler opened the door and led William to the middle of the vault. The shadowy figure of Zorzi approached holding uh, out his hand. If you think that you can, and then he, you know, he says, then he speaks, Zorzi speaks. Um, maybe there's nothing wrong with just deleting that uh, return, right? So it's all one paragraph, and you see that the T goes to uh, the right size. Um, I had another uh, incident or another uh, occurrence where um, let me find it. Okay, this is where it was. And we are going to uh, do, let me get rid of this. So format character, oops, I'm sorry. Yeah. I want to format paragraph. And we will not display drop caps. Okay. And how this was. Um, it was indented. So here's, it, it only does the one uh, line. So I can do a couple of things. I don't know why it's still highlighted. Okay, so uh, okay, for some reason it's still okay. Um, so if this were still indented, oh, it, you know, I made a space here, so it's not an indent, but it's a space. You know, all right, people, uh, William said, listen up. Um, and then Christina sat in the corner. When you come across this, you have to, as in the other one, you can either put it over here. I don't think it would fit. Uh, so then the question is, what happens if I move this 
to the front of this. Get rid of that. And then this. Uh, now I un indented this, so I have to uh, go to format uh, paragraph text flow. I'm sorry, indents and spacing. I want to indent the first line to whatever I think it was, 0.26 or something like that. Okay, so I got the indent there. I can go here and put in my format paragraph, uh, drop caps, display. Boom, now it's right. So, does it change it? Christina sat in the corner watching William began's first effort to teach the kids. All right, people, listen up. William said, listen up. I don't think it changes anything, and maybe it makes it better. So, I don't know of any way other than those two methods. Either shift the text around, if you can, or to um, just get rid of the uh, separate paragraph break. And... Um, do the uh, caps. So that's it. I think that explains how to do it well enough. It's quite simple and quite powerful. And uh, take it easy. <laughs>